Right, it's only day one of this very, very short pre-season test in Bahrain, so let's not get too excited. Indeed, today things went pretty much as predicted. The weather played its big role in everything that happened because it was very, very hot and windy at the start and very, very windy and still quite hot at the end. Although right at the end, there was a sort of window where you could get a reasonable run and a reasonable amount of grip and a reasonable amount of balance. And that's when Max Verstappen went out and set what would be the fastest time of the day for a Red Bull Honda. Great lap too. Max driving really well, enjoying every minute of this return to Formula One. Very good on a medium length long run in the morning session. Very good on a medium length long run in the second session. And then when he went out to do a quick time on the medium tire, he was right there too. As Craig Scarborough has pointed out several times in our other videos in the build up to this Bahrain test, we've only seen two photographs before Bahrain of the Red Bull RB16B, but there it was in all its glory. As Scarbs predicted, it does have that new rear wishbone set up at the back, which is a big aerodynamic help, but it's not as big a dramatic move as that on the Mercedes, and that's because the token system came into play and they've had to mount it on the gearbox structure rather than to create a new mounting system for the rear suspension, but it's still a step forward. And indeed, you can also see the exhaust layout through the rear wing pylon. Really, really neat system there. I can't imagine that Adrian Newey has had much sleep at all over the winter, not because he can't think of where to go with the car, but because of this token system, which is absolutely, I imagine to him, totally abhorrent and against everything that he stands for as a creative engineer. But nonetheless, that's what we have in Formula One. And around that system, it would appear that Red Bull have done a really, really good job with that car. Max Verstappen looking fabulous in it all day, running uh, both sessions, morning and afternoon. So therefore, he put in a lot of laps as well. Let's see how many he did, 139 in total, more than any other driver. So that speaks also to the reliability of the Red Bull Honda as well, the RB16B Honda. The only other driver to do both sessions was Esteban Ocon in the Alpine, who looked pretty good actually. He was a little bit scrappy early on today, just getting back into it again when there wasn't much grip, but he did find a balance. He found a rhythm towards the end of the Alpine, looking a pretty strong, high midfield car. Tomorrow we look forward to Fernando Alonso taking over, presumably for the full day. It'd be interesting to see how they split their time on the third day. I would imagine they're going to give the, the better, the cooler half to Fernando, but we'll see what happens on day three. Uh, so Esteban Ocon was third quickest. He did that time, however, on the softer of the Pirellis, the C4, the red tyre. Uh, Max Verstappen, as I say, was on the yellow medium. And P2, kind of as predicted as well, Lando Norris looking really good. Daniel Ricciardo had a very good morning in the new McLaren Mercedes. Pretty happy with the car, had a nice balance, no dramas at all. The car ran pretty reliably, one or two things going on in the garage, but generally speaking, it's been a pretty seamless transmission from Renault to Mercedes for McLaren. And then in the afternoon, Lando working really well, really professional job, I would say. Uh, and Lando P2, again on the same tire as Max Verstappen, he did a 30.8 to Max's 30.6. Don't read too much into that because slightly different conditions and probably big differences in fuel load. But we'll see, obviously, as the weekend progresses, or as the weekend, as we get into the weekend, and more importantly, of course, as we get into the Grand Prix later on. The Aston Martin didn't look great in the morning in the hands of uh, Sebastian Vettel having his first outing with this team. He was pretty circumspect, generally speaking, whenever he was out with a knock-on or a Gasly, he was about a second a lap slower, but not looking ragged, just a second a lap slower. But as the afternoon gathered strength, Lance Stroll put in some really good work and finished P4 for Aston Martin. Uh, a few comments about the color scheme, how it looks on in real life on a black Tarmac looks pretty black actually, but in certain lights, certainly when the lights came on towards the end of the day, and don't forget this finished at dusk in Bahrain or at night by the end, it did look pretty good under light. So looking pretty good. Carlos Sainz, uh, Ferrari, um, yeah. Slightly nervous about Ferrari. Didn't look good this morning when Charles Leclerc drove it. Again, a little bit like Aston Martin and S Sebastian. It was He was about a second a lap slower than cars around him that you would normally expect him to be alongside, or we would hope Ferrari would be beating this year. And um, 
and he looked ragged too, unlike Vettel, who was just kind of on rails, not doing very much, just getting used to everything, and trying the test Pirelli, have to say, so going the full extreme on hardness of tyre there, just getting a feel for how the car um, would react to that tyre. But uh, you could tell with the way Charles was driving that it wasn't an easy car to drive yet again. How often have you been saying that about Ferrari? Looking closely at the top speeds as well, they are a little bit better than last year, but there's still a significant gap between the Mercedes, the Renault, and the Honda, and the Ferrari engine. Again, only day one, let's see how it goes, and wind was blowing all over the place, so it's not really a fair comment, I guess, at this point. Carlos Sainz took over in the afternoon, eventually did a time, um, did a 31.9, two tenths slower than Lance Stroll. You could say, I guess that's not bad, or a bit disappointing. Depends where you sit and what you expect of Ferrari. Again, let's wait and see. Antonio Giovinazzi, very good job. Took over from Kimi Raikkonen. Kimi started in the morning, then Antonio in the afternoon in the Alpha. And uh, best wishes here to uh, Fred Vasseur, who's missing this test because he's tested positive for COVID. Uh, but a good job by Antonio, 31.9, and some good long runs as well in the Alpha. We kind of take Alpha for granted. They're there. They sort of go round and round. But this car looks to be, as Scarbs has said from day one in his video, um, a pretty good job they've done on that car. So a nice job by uh, Antonio Giovinazzi as well. But Daniel Ricciardo did his time in the morning, so he was just behind Giovinazzi in terms of time. Pierre Gasly uh, ran in the morning and uh, Yoki Tsunoda took over in the afternoon. They've got to give those rookies as much mileage as possible. Um, and Pierre looked pretty good, actually. Whenever he was out, he was top three or thereabout. And at one point there were three of them, Gasly, Ricardo, and Ocon, all basically the same lap time. And uh, it looked, if you took out Mercedes and Red Bull, it looked to be a Grand Prix. But uh, of course it wasn't. But Pierre did a good job and um, that car looks pretty good. Yuki Sonoda just slower in the afternoon. When, when he did that time, the track was picking up grip, but it was really windy and quite a lot of dust and sand on the track as well. So very good job by Yuki Sonoda jumping in and uh, doing, a, doing the time that car really should be doing, not really being in any way affected by his inexperience. So Yuki Sonoda, very good. And under that heading, also very impressed with Nikita Mazepin, who went out about the same time as, as uh, Sonoda early on and was right into it straight away, getting his, his right foot down and driving. Yeah, he had a few moments. He had a big moment, a um, couple of them actually, but he was trying hard and going for it. And he was quick and, and good job he did for Haas, which was basically launched today in the pit lane. No surprises there. It's an evolutionary car, as we've been saying about so many of them. And indeed, this one is so evolutionary that it was actually built up basically as a kit in the UK, not even by Delara in Italy. They couldn't do the fire up in the UK. They did that for the first time in Bahrain, but it ran pretty well and um, both drivers, well Mick Schumacher didn't get much mileage in the morning, got to point that out. Mick Schumacher only did about four or five decent laps in the morning, some uh, glitches with the car early on so we can't really make any comment about Mick. But in the hands of uh, Nikita Mazepin I thought it looked pretty good, not bad at all. Now the world champions, Mercedes and of course Lewis Hamilton. Uh, Valtteri Bottas was slated to do the morning, Lewis the afternoon and they kept to that, even though Valtteri did about two laps in the morning, three laps, uh, didn't really do anything meaningful at all, lost the whole session due to some sort of gear shift problem. They put in a, a different gearbox to do a back-to-back -back and compare and try to work out what happened to the new one, um, the new cartridge that is, or the linkage system, whatever it is they're doing there, um, in the afternoon. And Lewis went out and Lewis was running, presumably running massive fuel throughout because he was, um, he was never really quick, but he did a lot of laps. He did 42 laps in the afternoon session, which I guess multiplies to, um, you know, we're looking about 80, 90 laps if you've done the same in the morning. So again, not, not brilliant for Mercedes, not a great day, but if you're gonna have a bad day, typical for the world champions, have it on the first day of testing in Bahrain where the weather's not very good. So that's that. More than anything, this video is really just to give, it, give me a chance to show you some of the images we've had from the circuit, the still images, some of the details on the cars, some of the other things that we can see, some of the aspects of the team, the garage, the colors, and our old friend Steve Etherington and other photographers there sending back these great images. So all a uh, big hand to them, thank you very much. So we'll do another um, summary of testing with Craig Scarborough and his comments about how, what he's seen on the cars as we get to the week Weekend, probably on Sunday night, if not Monday morning. But uh, for now, that was the Bahrain test. Max Verstappen looking really good in the Red Bull Honda.